What's good, everybody out there in YouTube land? It's your boy DJ Too Legit here. And today, this video is all about my Too Legit T-Style DJ table. The reason I'm making this video is because I have a lot of new subscribers, and every time they see a video that has my Too Legit table in it, they're constantly asking me, hey, where'd you get that table from? Send me a link. I want to know more about it. I have so many subscribers that want to buy the table, but they don't understand that the table is kind of custom. Now all my old followers, you guys have been watching and following along on my journey of how I basically created the table. So you guys know that it's not something that you can just go to a store and purchase. So hopefully the goal of this video is to show my new subscribers exactly what the table is, what it consists of, and how they can have one too if they so desire. Now you guys know that I made a video on this already, but the video was rather long and a lot of new subscribers don't wanna sit through that long video. So I'm gonna try to make this one as short as possible. So without any further ado, let me show you what the table looks like. Now many of you know that I transport the table in my facade bag because the table is only seven pounds. It's very small, light, compact, takes up no space at all. So let me pull it out of my facade bag now. So here's the table right here. It's so lightweight, it's so thin, seven pounds. And I keep it together with these two clips, take them off. And then the table, it just opens up like this and sits on the ground. So here's the table. And then it comes with two shelves. Here are the two shelves right here. And they just go on the table like so. I'm going to show you real quick. I'll turn the table around this way so you can see. So that's the back side of the table. And these two shelves, they go on these little holders right here. That's one shelf. And then the other shelf goes on the bottom. And there you go. Now the table is fully assembled. Now the top part of the shelf is actually a kitchen countertop that I purchased from Lowe's and I will leave a link in the description to where you can purchase it if you want to. And this is it right here. Now the way I have this fitting on top of the table. I have this white duct tape on here that kind of gives me a guide to where the exact center position is. And then I also have these grooves that I cut out in those four places that when I sit it on top of the table, it securely fastens it to the table so it doesn't move. Let me show you. So I put the kitchen countertop on top of the table and then I line it up with the grooves. And now that it's lined up, it's attached. See? So now I don't have to worry about the top falling off of the table. Someone can bump into it, it'll be just fine. So now all I have to do is just put my controller on top of this table. And the reason why I like a table like this is because I can use any controller with it. So let me put my rain one on top. Okay, and then I have a white laptop stand that I keep inside the case. I just pull the stand out. 
I'll leave a link to this stand in the description if you want it. Put it right there. Then my laptop goes on top of here. Now these two clamps, I use these for cable management and they just go on the side here. So when I have my speaker wires coming out around the side here and the power cable, it comes down to the back and then I clip them to the edge of the bottom part of the table with these clips here. And you can get these at Home Depot for, I can't remember. Here's the laptop. I like this too legit table like this because now I have room on the sides that if I was to use an external mixer, wireless microphones, or even my sound switch control one, I have room. I can put my wireless microphones right here. I can put my control one for sound switch right here. And I've got plenty room where I can utilize those things right here from my DJ table. So that's it guys, really. Here's a closer look. That's what it looks like from the back. And what I'll do is I'll run the wires through here, come down there, and then right down there. And then I will take these little clamps and I will clamp the wires right there on the sides down there and then another one down there for cable management. And I like these shelves because I can hide things there or sit things there. You can even put a mixer there if you want to. Or you can put a mixer like right here on this side. But you got plenty of room. Now the kitchen countertop, I purchased at Lowe's and I think I got the six foot by two foot version. They also have a four foot version if this is too big. Now, even though I got the six foot version, this isn't six feet because I cut it down to 54 inches. 54 inches is a perfect width for me, but that may be too long for some of you. So what you can do, if four feet is enough, you can get the four foot version and then you won't have to cut it at all. I also put white duct tape around the edges there to kind of make it look a little nicer because first it was just you could just see the wood. So I put white duct tape around it so it would make it look just a little bit nicer. And I also like the table up with up lights to give it a really cool effect at gigs. If you've seen any of my gig logs where I'm using this table, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Also, you can see underneath the table, the table fits into the top of the kitchen countertop. And that locks it into place in all four corners. So that's it, guys. So those are the details on my two legit T-style DJ table. I will leave a link to the bottom piece and I'll leave a link to the top piece as well. One more thing I forgot to mention is that the bottom piece was actually too tall for me. I'm only five foot six and I felt it was too tall. So I had a carpenter cut it down for me. I had him cut six inches off of it. And that made it the perfect height for me. Let me show you that real quick. See, by taking those six inches off, this is the perfect height for me. I like it where I can reach the platters. I can scratch, spin, mix very comfortably. And I can also see over my laptop because I always like to have my laptop in front usually. So this is the perfect height for me at five foot six. You see, when I have my arm at a 90 degree angle, it's right above my controller. And that's perfect where before it was like way up here and it just felt too tall for me. So for all you tall guys, if you order the table, which by the way, costs $300. The last time I checked, it should be a very comfortable height for all you tall guys, like six feet and over. And there's a quick shot of the table when I have it lit up with the up lights. Looks really cool in my opinion. And that's it from the back. So that's it you guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you like what you saw today, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit the like button and leave a comment. I love responding to your comments. And once again, I'll leave links in the description where you can buy the bottom piece or you can buy the top piece, the kitchen countertop. And remember it comes in two sizes, four foot or six foot. I bought the six foot and I had it cut down to 54 inches, but you can do whatever you want. You can just buy the four foot. I do have a friend that bought the table and he bought the four foot version and that's working just fine for him. His name is Dan. Hey Dan, if you're watching this, what's good? So I'm gonna go ahead and close this video now. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, we'll see you on the next one. It's your boy DJ, Too Legit. Peace.